What's up, my cherry bomb? On today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a collective fragrance haul. Now, these are some fragrances that I've received in PR, and a lot of them are fragrances that I've purchased, you guys. And I noticed that I haven't done a haul video, so now they're all lined up and packed up. And if you're ready to see what I got for the month of January, keep on watching. One of our chair bombs on Instagram reached out and she was like, girl, I do perfume oils and I would like to send some to you. So she did send some to me. Um, I'm gonna put all her information in the description box below and on the screen. They all come in a packaging like this. When you open it, you see the oils like that. This one doesn't have um, a box, but it did come in this pouch. Y'all, let me just tell y'all something. These smell so good it comes with the little one right here for you to put on and this smells so good this is like a fruity floral oh so this one is called wood attar the second one is called cleopatra pheromone that one is kind of like my least favorite but i feel like this one would smell good when you put it on the skin it's not one that i think that would work just smelling it like that i have to put that on my skin classic man pheromone and can we just give it up for the packaging she's a small business black owned this one is more of uh, right up my alley actually it's like a oud rose smell like i haven't put it on my skin but what is giving is definitely giving oud rose the last one is called sensual bell this one is kind of giving me like a grass smell but the back i kind of smell like a rosy ish so i have to put that one on my skin as well to see how it works i'm gonna definitely keep you guys updated on my instagram stories but yes thank you so much girl for sending me these i love them so that's it for the oils let's get into the fragrances so the first fragrance is from twisted lily they sent this to me for valentine's day because i have a valentine's day little campaign that i'm doing for them and this fragrance right here is top tier this is like the perfect minimalistic floral fragrance for a floral fragrance lover and it is fleur burlesque when i first smelled this fragrance i was just like hmm when i was looking at the notes i was like oh okay if you're that girl that likes that timeless floral fragrance now this is nothing special or nothing like groundbreaking you've smelled the florals in this before but this specific fragrance the blend of the fragrance is really nice and i think that you guys should definitely check it out use my code cherish tv10 at twisted lily so that you can get some samples of this because it's definitely worth sampling especially if you're a floral girl i don't know if you guys noticed but target is bringing out fragrances and they have this new fragrance line called finery and they're a dupe house so they do nice dupe fragrances or inspiration fragrances for a fraction of the price sweet on the outside so this is basically like a fluffy marshmallow rosy juicy fragrance now to me it reminds me of eilish by billy eilish and that's why i got it so if you're looking for eilish for a really affordable price i think that eilish is affordable but you know that's for me everybody's price range and budget is different so if you're looking for something that's extremely affordable but that does smell good sweet on the outside is perfect this next fragrance is one that i've mentioned in a couple videos so far because i've really liked it but you guys i recently got it and it is kamara you guys know that i love this fragrance um it's super new in my collection but it pairs well with a lot of fragrances it was supposed to be a dupe for angel shares but i don't get that at all um i don't know who said that this is definitely another fragrance on its own it has praline has cinnamon it has vanilla it has all those good notes that angel shares have but it is blended differently and i'm not mad at it i'm actually happy that it is because you can have this in your collection it's sexy and it's actually more wearable than angel shares believe it or not angel shares has that boozy note so definitely try out kamar by latafa because latafa is doing their thing and whatever they're doing in their labs i'm liking it a lot this is one that you guys have been asking me to review for the longest well my my Instagram cherry bombs been axing so I was like okay let me go ahead and get it and it is from all her main and it is all her main love venture rose simply put if you like roses musk but you don't like roses musk price tag then this is it I think that it smells closer to roses musk than roses vanille because roses vanille has that sugared vanilla and rose thing going on whereas roses musk does have the sugared vanilla and rose at the top but then at the ultimate dry down you get more of the musk and this is exactly what that is now do I recommend it yes I do recommend it 
but if you don't like Rose's Musk and you're looking for an alternative, this is not it because it smells exactly like Rose's Musk. I know I'm a little late to the party. I wanted to wait till the hype died down for me to get this fragrance and I did mention it in a couple recent videos. This right here is a nice vanilla fragrance but it has an added note of patchouli and it is. Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli 62. One thing about Kayali, they're gonna give you a long name, okay? It is definitely a patchouli bomb but it's not like a dirty patchouli or it's not like a green patchouli. It is definitely what it is, sugared patchouli. I don't know how they did it but they definitely made the patchouli a little bit more on the sweeter side and it's almost giving nutty and I think that's the patchouli mixed with the vanilla and the rum. It's definitely one to test out if you like patchouli. So yeah, Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli is another one that I hauled this past month. This next one was sent to me by the brand and when they asked to send this to me, I was just like, yes, yes, because the girls are always talking about this and I really wanted to like really dive into it and see what it was giving and it's definitely giving. So this one is definitely the expressive version. One thing that I started to notice about Commodity, most of their fragrances are very much on the light side. They're very much for the clean girl, the minimalistic girl. If you're that type of girl that likes a bold fragrance, then definitely go with expressive or their bold um, versions. Don't go with personal because you're not gonna smell it. I like to wear these type of fragrances when I'm going to bed or when I'm running errands. And today I was running errands and I definitely got a good use out of it. Um, comment down below if you've ever tried Commodity Gold. This is another one that I got in my collection. Next fragrance is one from BDK and this was sent to me by the brand as well. And it is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance to be wearing this season. And it is Tabac Rose. Now, I think this one came out in 2021 or in 2022. I really like this one. If you're looking for a nice, chocolatey, rosy tobacco fragrance, then this one is it. Now, the tobacco is definitely in the background. You get more of the rose and the chocolate. And the chocolate in this is more like a rich chocolate, not like a regular name brand chocolate like um, Hershey's or Snickers. If you're looking for that, then definitely use this. And guys, please keep in mind that my coupon codes will be in the description box below if you'd like to support your girl that way because, you know, the bills gotta get paid, the lights gotta stay on, and the food gotta stay on the table. Okay, so <laughs> outside of that, this is really nice. And I think this is gonna be my Valentine's Day fragrance of the year. I'm not sure, but it's definitely one that I'm super happy to have in my collection and I cannot wait to wear it. And and it was definitely worth the wait. I wanted to purchase it, I almost did, and then the brand sent it to me, and I'm super grateful. Thank you guys so much. This next fragrance that I hauled is one that I have been eyeing when I noticed that it was coming out. This is one from Valentino, and it is Born in Roma Intense. All right, let me just tell you this right now. This is not gonna be for everyone. And the reason why I say that is because this is more grown, it's more sexy, it is slightly more calm, Plex. I hate to say it, but most people like the crowd pleasing fragrances and that's what works like the fruity fla fa la la ones. This is more on the grown side. So if you like jasmine, if you like vanilla, then this is one that you will love. Now the jasmine is very, I mean very prominent in this one. So if you're not a jasmine girl, stay away from this one. And I would highly recommend for you guys to test them out because when I sprayed this on my skin, it was giving 10 hours, okay? And I had to scrub it off afterwards. Like, I mean, like scrub it off. And I had to use my Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap to take it off because nothing else was taking it off. I still smelled it. So when it comes to longevity and projection, then this one is good. The sillage is amazing. I kinda like this one better than the original. I don't know. The original, I would wear it during the daytime and this one I'll definitely wear it for date night. Definitely check this one out. I definitely got this for myself. I hauled it myself. I paid my hard on coins because I know you guys really wanted me to review it and talk about it. So definitely check this one out. Next one is one that I hauled and this is actually my fifth bottle of this fragrance. So that's how you know I like this fragrance. It is one from All Her Main and it is All Her Main Amber Oud, the gold edition. If you guys like Herba Pura, if you like Jardin Exclusive, if you like um, all those beautiful fruity fragrances that I just mentioned, then this is one that you will love. This is a dupe of that scent profile since Herba Pura came out first 
This is a dupe of Urban Pura. When I tell y'all, this always get me compliments. It's, it's so sexy. It layers well with everything. And did I mention how affordable it is? It's from Amazon. Oh my gosh, Arabian fragrances are letting people know that, hey, I'm here and you can get me on Amazon. You can get it in two days. I love this. And then can we look at the packaging, the gold bottle? All of them always have the gold right here but the color of the juice is different and then of course it's gonna always say gold edition or rouge edition it's just so good it's a unisex fragrance my husband loves it and that's kind of why i got five bottles well i've went through five bottle four bottles and this is my fifth one because we both wear it together okay this is really nice it's so sexy it's so affordable and it will let me just let me just move on. Fragrance I hauled was one from Kajal. And the reason why I got this fragrance is because the price was just unbelievable. One, and two, because my friend was hyping it up. Um, she was on the hunt for it um, a couple months ago. And uh, when she finally got it, she just fell in love. And I blind bought it because the price was just so good when I found it, and it is. Kajal Lamar. Y'all know I like Nishane. Um, Hakivat, and y'all know I like Creed Aventus, but baby, this is like Nishane Hakivat, Creed Aventus, and Delina exclusive had a baby. It is a beautiful pineapple fragrance with a rose undertone. One thing I would say about this fragrance, it lasts so long, and you can now get it at Joma Shop for $114. You guys, that is an amazing deal because this fragrance does not go for that price. You know how they be saying two sprays is all you need? Well, baby, half a spray is all you need with this one. <laughs> now, y'all know I'm an over sprayer, but Damn, this smells so good. It is so sexy. If you're looking for a solid pineapple fragrance, this one is it. I'm so happy I made that purchase. I'm so happy I blonde bought it because it definitely did not disappoint. And when I shared this on my Instagram, all the girls were saying, oh my God, girl, you're gonna love Almaz. And guess what I did? I reached out to Joma Shop. So how about y'all send me Almaz? And guess what they did? They sent your girl on my ass. And look at the packaging, you guys. The silver and the green with the diamond What? <laughs> but baby, when I tell you, y'all was not lying. I like this more than Lamar. I like Lamar. But baby, this right here is the perfect fruity fragrance for the summertime. And when I tell y'all, I sprayed it on and it just lingered and lingered and lingered. The first night I got this, my husband did it. He sprayed it on his skin and then he went to a performance that same night. He came into the car and baby, when I tell y'all, he blew up the car. He smelled so good. Um, it is unisex, but I do believe that it leans slightly more feminine. This is also on Joma Shop and it's also on sale right now during their Valentine's Day sale. So guys, go ahead and click that link and shop this because you will not regret it, okay? This is a beautiful fruity fragrance and it's not one of those fragrances that's just like juvenile. No, it is exotic and it takes you on a journey. Jarita definitely told me to get this and, I, and then after she said that, I seen that comment. I feel like everything else was the same comment. Like, yes, get it. Yes, get it. And y'all, I don't regret getting it. Thank you so much. And Joma Shop sent it to me and I'm just like, yo, y'all was not lying. So definitely check this one out. Thank you so much, Joma Shop. And if y'all didn't know, I have a Joma Shop landing page, which is super cool. So definitely check that out. It's in my communities tab. Next fragrance that I just added to my collection that was sent to me by another brand is one from House of Siage and it is Avatar. If you didn't watch my House of Siage um, fragrance video, go ahead and watch that. But this right here, simply put, is a beautiful aquatic floral fragrance. I think that is beautiful for everyday use. It will definitely work in the spring and summertime. And I think that the fragrance does go with the bottle. One thing I would have said or would have done was add a blueberry note because it's blue, but that's neither here or there. It's really nice. And my friend also mentioned that too. And when she said that, I was like, yeah, the blueberry note would have worked really well with this fragrance. But outside of that, it is a gorgeous fragrance. And House of Siyah has been doing really good with their releases. They did send me the um, Harry Potter line, but I shared that a long time with you guys. So it didn't make this list. That is an another one that was new, but they have a sale um, by the link. I would just be like on sale. Okay, so definitely check this one out. It's honestly the packaging for me, y'all. It is just so freaking beautiful. This next one is one that I probably 
haven't shared with you guys before i don't remember sharing this but if i did y'all gonna see it again it's one from roja and it is roja's manhattan beautiful beautiful smooth tobacco and vanilla fragrance if tobacco vanilla had an older brother this would be it oh my god it's so smooth and it takes you on a journey it's not linear at all so when you spray it you get a burst of tobacco but it's the smoothest tobacco that you can ever think of then the vanilla comes in and then it becomes like this warm Warm, cozy fragrance this is beautiful you guys i love this and you can find it on um roja's website and i think you can find it on twisted lily don't hold me to it i'll definitely leave that in the description box below but talk about a long lasting smooth tobacco fragrance wow and it's one of those fragrances that i just keep on wanting to spray on some more so definitely check this one out from roja it is a masterpiece the next fragrance is the newest one in the collection this was actually um hauled this month and it is duquesa oh ooh, ooh, ooh. this is a gorgeous cherry fragrance it is probably my favorite cherry fragrance in my collection i thought tart deco was the favorite no nah. Duquesa. Tarte Deco is beautiful, but Duquesa? Oh, it has this cherry note in it, and it's like a sour cherry, y'all. And then it goes into this beautiful, sexy, alluring fragrance. I'm still working with it because I literally just got it yesterday. But y'all, I really can't explain it. It is just so sexy. It's one of those fragrances that I would not wear like every single day. This is definitely giving special occasion. It's definitely giving I am on a special date. It's definitely giving Valentine's Day. It's definitely giving girl like a Beyonce. I would not wear this every day, but this is definitely for that cherry lover. And this cherry that's in here smells like I actually have the cherry in my hand. Duquesa was sent to me by Lucky Scents and I have a coupon code for lucky sense as well i'll put everything on the screen and everything in the description box below so definitely check out duquesa do you have any new fragrances in your collection go ahead and comment down below i would love to continue the conversation in the comments below this brings me to the end of the video if you would like to sample any of these fragrances or get any of these fragrances all the information will be in the description box below until we see each other again please 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 stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances bye cherry bombs <laughs>